sadly, here is another scene that was tightened up in the interest of pace. Um, I very much like what happens in the car in this extended scene between Graf and, and uh, Valentine, where he manipulates her, as you will see, into um, telling her brother that he has to go back. So, um, it starts with the charm as usual. Come on, you just want him to re enlist. I want him to save life. And watch now how Graf manipulates um, Valentine. Look, if you persuade him to return and he fails to stop an invasion and we die, that's, uh, that's not your fault. Look how much guilt he dumps on this young girl. Basically, he's saying, if, if you don't persuade Ender, then you're responsible. And he does it in this very um, manipulative and... And then I love this moment where he says, that's all right. Because for Graf, he has a job to do, and, 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 in, and from Graf's perspective, whatever it takes, um, he, he, needs to, um, he needs to make sure that Ender goes back. I like this section because this was really showing where Ender had been sent. Forgive again the incomplete visual effects and so on, they're not done, out the windows looking terrible, but you get the idea that he's in a, a rehabilitation center for broken souls, older folks who were victims of the Formic War who've kind of lost their minds, and here he is, um, you know, not willing to participate anymore. And Valentine, who's now been horribly manipulated by Graf to go and persuade her brother to come back. And in the original scene on the lake, her manipulation was very clear and she was very uncomfortable with that manipulation, but felt she had to do it. And so she's forced, if you like, by Graf's manipulative skill. Um, to persuade her brother to go back because really there is no choice. He is that good and he should go back.